Mardi Gras has a lot to do in the, the community, not just the big party that you see. We have different things to raise money for children, for people in hospitals. And I'm gonna tell you, in sometimes in the African-American community, we don't know how much we can help each other. That's why it's important to me to let people know in my community that it's stuff that you can do. Good morning, Kevin, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Well, uh, I've been hearing about your story. It's absolutely fantastic. So thank you for sharing it with so many people. I started having obesity problems around nine years old. I found out that I was a diabetic and I was a senior in high school and I had to have open heart surgery. And I remember when I first got on dialysis, I didn't want anybody to know. When you get to a point where you are not living on your own, but you have always looked like the person who had it all together, how can I say that I'm weak? There's an element here for us to be very uh, mindful of. Number one is um, that you feel vulnerable. Um, and, and no one likes that. You wanna be strong, you wanna uh, have the security. Uh, number two, uh, no petty. Uh, you don't want petty, you want, you actually want support. And those are different, very different. The nurse and the doctor actually brought in uh, nurses to give me choices, to let me know I can come into the center like you mentioned, or I can do it at home. I've been Kevin's nurse for roughly four years now. We met in 2018 when he transitioned to our facility. What advice would you give when you're meeting a new patient, when you're getting uh, someone to consider PD? You know, a lot of our patients, when they come to us, especially on day one, they're in a grieving state. They've just, you know, their whole life has been rerouted. Um, so really, really, you know, put yourself in their position, empathize with them that, you know, this is gonna change their whole life. So just be there for them, for sure. I can tell Jessica pretty much anything. She's smart and she's kind. She pays attention. Living vulnerable, and then those days where you really just don't feel good, you don't feel well, you feel sick, is when you need a person like I have in my mom. I'm not, I'm not gonna cry, but I, I really want to because she's, she's, she's everything. She's everything. I, I, could, I could literally feel it the way Kevin lit up when he talked about the unconditional love that you've given him. To help your loved one is to, to be there when they need you and whatever they need you to do, if you can do it for them, to help them through the, whatever they're going through. And that's where I come in. When the kidney disease happened, I, I found out that I had to start taking care of myself. I lost 100 pounds on my own. That was not Ooh. easy. I'm young. Um, I, I still have a lot to do. <laughs> I have a lot yes. to do and I need more time to do it. I encourage people to donate, not just kidneys, but donate blood. You know, there's so many different things that people need. What I want to tell you is you've changed through sharing your story literally thousands of lives. And so I want to thank you. Uh, I want to thank you so much for being vulnerable with us today. A big, a big hug from Denver all the way to New Orleans. I receive it. <laughs>